Hi, my name is Chetan and I am application engineer at Maxim Integrated. Today I am going to talk about Maxim GMSL serializer and deserializer. In this video, I am going to discuss how to set up forward channel link in GMSL Serdi Sphere. Now this can be done with any of our chipset. But today I am going to talk about Max 9275 and Max 9276A. Before we start, we should know what is there inside this chipset. Now have a look on a block diagram showing at your screen. A GMSL1 chipset consists of a two channel. The first one is forward video channel which goes from serializer to deserializer and other one is reverse control channel. Now we are specifically going to be focusing on forward video channel. To work your forward video channel perfectly fine, you should have two things. The first one is valid pixel clock on the serializer and the next one is matching configuration register setting. If you are getting a valid pixel clock, then you could see a link clock LED on the deserializer side. A link clock tell you that PLL is locked and pixel clock is recovered with correct byte alignment. If you are not getting a link clock, Make sure that BWS and HIBW registers are matched on both the side of the SERDI pair. If you are getting a valid pixel clock, then in order to make your data going out, same as data going in, below are the registers which need to be matched on both the side of the SERDI pair. Make sure that your all other registers are set to their default positions. Let's have a look on a demo setup block diagram shown at the screen. Here I have used Max 96705 coax EV kit to program onboard oscillator to generate 25 MHz of pixel clock for Max 9275. You can of course use any clock generator in the range of 25 to 50 MHz readily available in the market to perform this setup. To verify that the forward channel link is properly configured, I have soldered a LED on the D out pin of the D serializer side. On changing D in pin high and low from the serializer, the corresponding D out pin should change. Let's jump to the setup and see what's going on if we change D in pin high and low on the serializer side. So here is a demo setup. This board is Max 96705 which is generating a P clock for max 9275. On the other side, we have max 9276A with the LED on D out 7 pin. Both of these are pair are powered through the USB, while max 96705 is powered through the 12 volt adapter. Make sure that to change jumper JUPL1 and jumper PL0 to high positions, while rest of the jumper should be set to their default positions. Let us now verify by putting the jumper on D in 7 pin of the serializer. And here we go. We can see the LED is coming up and when we remove the jumper, LEDs goes out. This verifies that your forward channel link is properly set. And you can see the data going out, same as data going in. That's all for today. See you next time.